everyone, welcome to another tutorial video for Warhammer Online Return of Reckoning, the Age of Reckoning private server. Uh, it's me, Zarbix, or the Zarbix from Twitch. Today we're going to go over um, kind of a more in-depth look at the stat priority and stats in Warhammer. There's a whole lot of them, and they all do several different things. So maybe we're just going to go step by step and walk you through it. So each class has a main damage stat in this game. So for um, casters, range casters, magical casters, it's going to be intellect. For healers, it's going to be willpower. And for melee DPS, it's going to be strength. And finally, for range physical casters um, or archers, it's going to be ballistic. So that's where they're going to derive most of their damage from their main damage stat. Um, besides that, melee DPS and physical DPS also have access to weapon skill, which will decrease um, armor penetration, which goes hand in hand with their main damage dealing stat, um, whether it be ballistic or strength. Um, casters do ha not have access to that. They don't have any kind of resistance strike through. So that is only something reserved for physical damage dealers. Um, same goes for uh, healers. They only really have access to willpower. That's the only one that's really going to impact them. Um, so yeah, so we have strength here. Um, strength does two things, guys. It gives you uh, more damage on your physical attacks, and it also increases your chance to block and parry. Uh, ballistic skill gives you increased damage for physical casters, uh, range damage dealers, and it also uh, decreased your enemy's chance to block or evade you. Uh, intel intellect will increase your magic damage and also your chance uh, lessen your chance to be disrupted. Um, toughness is one of those ancillary stats. Um, it just reduces the damage that you take. So. Any damage you take is a flat damage reduction. So if you have, let's say, 100 toughness and you were going to be hit for 100, you might instead be hit for 60. Uh, weapon skill, like we talked about before, increases your chance to parry, but also your um, armor penetration. So if someone has 50% armor from their medium armor, they'll go down to, you know, if you have like 10% armor pen, 40, I know 10% more damage. Um, initiative reduces your chance to be crit and also your chance to detect stealthers. So detect a witch elf or witch hunter. Uh, finally, we have uh, willpower, which is for healers, and it also increases their disrupt chance, which for healers makes them super, super um, high disrupt because they need willpower anyways. And the last stat that everyone kind of uses is wounds. One point of wounds is 10 health, so I have 656, so I have 6,560 health. Um, those are the main stats in the game. Those are the ones that you're going to appear on most of your gear. And then you have all the secondary stuff. So you have armor as well. Armor comes from your main pieces of gear. You might have some bonuses as well that give you extra armor. Um, that reduces the amount of physical damage that you take. So that's, again, from melee damage, uh, tanks, and from physical archers. Um, you have your three different resistance types in this game, spiritual, corporeal, and elemental. Um, each one of those... Um, a specific caster uses them. For example, Bright Wizards use corporeal and um, elemental damage on their spells. Um, a sorcerer uses spiritual and corporeal. Um, you know, a magus might use uh, corporeal and uh, sorry, spiritual and elemental. So each one typically uses one or two of those um, damage types. So you'll find this on most of your gear. Like, for example, cloaks and rings will typically give you... Um, resistance to magic as well as most classes in the game do have some kind of resist buff so archmage and shaman can buff resists um, all of them um chosens and knights get a resistance buff um rune priests and zealots so generally this will be pretty easy to be capped out and the soft cap is about 40 but it can go way higher than that then you have your block if you have a shield so that's only reserved for um the six tank classes in the game the iron breaker black guard black orc Chosen, Knight of the Blazing Sun, and Swordmaster, um, and also the Warrior Priest and Disciple of Cain, who have a shield. Um, you have parry, which you know every class has, but usually melee will have higher. Um, you parry melee attacks in this game, it goes up by your weapon skill. Um, then you have your dodge, which only applies to um, the archer classes, so the engineer, the squig herder, and the shadow warrior. And then finally, you have disrupt, which is against all magic casters. So that's a flat out, if you dodge, you disrupt, you parry, or you block, you uh, negate 100% of the damage that would have been done. So it's really, really good to have high um, defense in this game. Um, finally, then you have the last couple of pages here, guys, melee, range, and magic. So what these ones are, are your wep your weapon DPS, which matters only for physical damage dealers, does not ma matter for casters. So your staff DPS has no impact on your magic damage. Um, you have your damage bonus, which is the equivalent from your intellect and magic power or uh, strength and melee power or you know ballistic and range power, the speed of your weapon, um, and then your critical hit bonus. So um, for melee, it's right there, like your armor penetration as well. For range, pretty much the same thing, weapon DPS, speed, damage bonus, and critical hit bonus. And then for magic, um, 
you know, this is the same thing in healing. You have your damage bonus of minus 224. I get a bunch of it from my intellect and from magic power, and then the rest of it, um, my critical hit rate. So let's talk about critical hit. Critical hit, um, for most classes, you will do an extra 140 to 106% damage on your crits. So if something were gonna hit for, you know, 100, it would instead hit for 140 to 160. Um, really, really good for most classes. A lot of classes in this game do get bonuses to their critical hit damage. So for Bright Wizards, for example, their mechanic gives them 100% more, so they can go way, way higher. Um, the way that magic power, strength power, and uh, sorry, melee power and uh, range power works and healing power is that you have a soft cap in this game on stats at 1040, or sorry, 10, 1050. Um, 1050 is the soft cap on intellect. After that, it'll take two points of intellect strength or weapon skill, whatever it is, to go one point higher. So a way to get around that cap is gear that has magic power on it. So for example, you can see that my ring here, the Genesis aspect has 36 magic power. That's actually better for me now because my character is nearly soft capped on end, especially with a potion. So getting magic power, strength, uh, melee power, and um, range power when you're at your soft cap for your main stat is really beneficial. It's a one for one point equivalent. So one point of magic power or you know melee power or range power will be the equivalent of one ballistic strength or intellect. Um, other than that, those are the main kind of stats in the game. On gear, you'll find other little things. For example, on some weapons, you might have plus six AP per second. So that gives you action points back. It, does only, it only applies when combat is finished. It does not apply in combat. Um, other than that, there's some other kind of stats you can get, like plus to morale gain. Um, there's some stuff on um, your dodge and disrupt flat increases to those bonuses. Um, but everything else is pretty self-explanatory. So basically what you're going to want to do, I'll sum that up, is... For your class type, you're going to want to figure out what your main stats are. Typically, for you, it's going to be your either your strength, intellect, uh, willpower, or uh, ballistic, and then see if you need any secondary stats. So for all those physical damage dealers, it's going to be weapon skill, and then after that, every class needs crit, and then you can look at your defenses. So that's a pretty brief overview of the different st uh, you know, stats in this game, what they do, how you uh, gain them, and what you're going to apply your bonuses to. Um, you know, if you're ever in doubt, hover over the stat. It'll give you a brief explanation. And as always, if you have any other questions, feel free to come find me in the Twitch stream or you know, post on the forums and someone will be able to help you out. So guys, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Hopefully you learned a little something about uh, stats in Warhammer and I will see you all next time. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.